Okay, now let's uh, try to come up with uh, the test cases and finish up the um, the main program. Let's try to get the test data. Okay, so that's the student students.txt and then we would have grades.txt. Okay, so let's try to save it. Students.txt and then similarly we create grades.txt try to save it Now we are ready to write the main program. We try to create the main, create the class, we call this as record main, and I do like to have the main method. Okay. Now, what I like to do is I like first create uh, reading all the students. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a student record manager. Okay, and then we try to create a scanner to read the uh, student.txt student input and similarly we can Uh, create a scanner for grades.txt. Okay. So similarly, we can create grid input. Let me just do copy and paste here. So here, that will be grades.txt. So for this student, we say while the student input dot has next. So what we are going to do is we are going to let uh, the manager to add add the student record with uh, all this information. We see ID. What's the ID? ID is an integer. It will be student student input dot next int, and then it will be student input dot next. And we have uh, student input dot next double student input next double and we have student input 
dot next. So we add all the students in, and that's it. And similarly, what we can do is we add all the grades in. We see while the student, while the grade input has next, we are going to continue this process. What we are going to do is we are going to see record manager dot add the grade report, which is you know the student ID, uh, cost ID, student ID, and the grade. That would be the grade input dot next. And uh, this will be next uh, int, and uh, that will be next uh, double. So we add the, all the grades in, and after that we would be able to process, you know, for all these. So essentially, what we are going to do is we just see the record manager. We like to create a uh, process for each student that we are going to process. All. So what the process all? You know we didn't create this yet. Let's go ahead and create one. Create a method for. Okay. And what we are going to do here is we are going to iterate on all the students. So we are going to say for. You know all the this my iterator would be would be good. For each student, what we are going to do is we are going to say s dot we are going to update for each student. Okay, and we are going to do for all the students after you know we are going to update. The the status, update the GPA, all that information. We are going to do the sort. Okay, and the, what we are going to do, we are going to just change this from a public method to a private. So because we are going to use this method only within the process or method, this will process the updates and uh, the sort. And uh, we are done. You know, we see just process all. And after that, we are going to generate the status report. Okay. So how could we do that? Essentially, you know, we would let a the student manager to do that. We say okay. Void report. And when we do the report, we are going to specify the file that you are going to do the report. So what we are going to do, we are going to generate the print writer. Specify you know the file, and we are going to make sure that all the imports are handled fine, and we are going to add a third exception. And uh, after that, we are going to essentially for all the students. Okay. And uh, we get the student. We are going to see pw dot print lane for the student dot we see out put string, and we are going to generate the output string for a specific student. Let's go ahead and implement that one. Okay, 
let's do not do let's do a string. So what we are going to do is we are going to have return the ID. We have a tab, then followed by the name, followed by the new GPA, followed by a tab, and then status. Okay, now they say so that's it. And what we are going to do is we see record manager dot uh, report and we are going to specify the file name. The file name is called status reports dot txt. Okay. And uh, now you know we are about done. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, run the program and see what's going on. Run the Java application. And uh, let's try to refresh it. And you have the status report. Let's do this. Let's try to, in the student record manager, we are going to, instead of do a report, we are going to do a display. Okay, just to make it a little bit easy. So we do display. And for the display, instead of using a print writer, we just do system.out.print. Okay, we use system out. And for this recommend what we are going to do is we are going to simply do display and then let's go ahead and write and you are going to say you know there's some information that's wrong you, know, you say that uh, uh, you know the GPA information get messed up now let's go back to take a look at logic because you look when you look at this number, you know this line number looks pretty large. And for grades, if you look at that, and use for uh, Tyler, let, let's look at all these large numbers. You know, we have Amy, and we have Tina. You know, there's nothing correct. Let's go back and. Uh, Try to look at how the GPA get computed. Okay, look at the student. And this new dot new GPA is the old GPA times the credit hours, plus the grade that we have accumulated. Okay, and how many courses that you have taken times three. That's the overall credit hours. We have this accumulated. That looks good. Let's add a little bit more information here. We try to get the the credit hours plus the number of the courses here. That would be the grades dot size 
times three, that will be overall how many credit hours after that specific semester. So let's go ahead and run this again. And let's say you have grades in a nine nine and let's say of twenty soccer of nine, but unfortunately the new GPA was not computed correctly. Okay, let's see. The first one, the credit hours, uh, ID, name, credit hours, GPA, status. What we are, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to do a two string, so that I'm going to get everything out. Okay. Let me try to implement a two string. So I have everything. Then I don't really don't need this information. And in the record main, I'm going to do a display. And uh, for the student record manager, when you do that, I'm going to simply do a two string instead of okay, instead of using that output string. So let, let's run this again. And you will see the credit hours and the GPA is, status is good. And you have the course grade. Let's do the course grade. Have a two string also. So let's add a two string. And what we are going to do is we are going to simply do course ID and the grade. And then we save it. And we run everything again. And you are going to say. Let's do the Emmy. Emmy probation. The CS 501, grade 4.0, 503. And then the new GPA is not good. So the only problem that happens here is the computation of the new GPA. Let's take a look at the GPA again. This dot new. We try to accumulate everything. Okay, I see. Because each one would be so this grade of size should not be get multiplied again. So that would do everything. So let's just write and uh and you should say that the GPA, the first one is soccer, and the GPA is 3.77, and then the last one is Tina, and you see the new states, and you say this would be good, 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 then Probation 2.78, 2.66, and 1.17. And uh, the one is rain. After rain, 
is calving. Let's see if there's any mistyping. Calving have one A and have uh, another A. Okay, let's see. Kevin before is 2.33, has 12 credit hours there. And after this, Okay, yeah, essentially you know, this would give us the correct result. And after this point, all you have to do is just uh, do the record manager dot uh, report, and we specify the file name that's status reports dot txt. So you can do that again, status reports dot txt. And we would have everything sorted. And, uh, you know, all this code, you know, online, if you get any questions, let me know. Thank you.